Okay, in this video we're going to cover using Jack Router on a Mac. I'm uh, remote viewing, team viewing, and to uh, my mother-in-law's computer here, she's uh, graciously let me use her Mac to set up this so I can do this video. So we've already installed Jack Pilot, and all this will be in the show notes. But once you get it going, all you have to do is click Start, and then both Mumble and FL Digi have Jack Router as an option, and man, that is really nice. This is the only operating system where both FL Digi and Mumble can go to Jack Router, so you don't have to come up with a bunch of additional cables to route them. So we've selected Jack Router for both, and let's go ahead and get out of these setting screens and see what happens. So on FL Digi. Here's the uh, routing bay here. As you can see, we have FL Digi go into the system sound card output, which would be speakers or headphones in this instance. Mumble goes to the sound card, but FL Digi also goes to the mumble input. So I'm going to send a little bit of CW with FL Digi here, and you'll see the VU meters light up and you'll probably hear it on my sound card because I'm also in the same channel here on CW room 4. There we go. In the settings again, just jack router, audio input, audio output, jack router. Man, it really makes it easy. So that's all set up. So now this FL Digi goes right over to the mumble input directly using Jack Router. Right there. So you send FL Digi both to mumble and to your sound card so you can hear it. Make sure you don't go too low or they won't be able to hear you. So you can't take this down to zero volume. You have to keep it around minus 15, minus 16. Maybe you can get away with 17, but much lower in volume than that, then they may have trouble hearing you on mumble. But generally, this is a pleasant volume for monitoring your side tone, too. So if you, want, if you had an external 555 uh, side tone that you're keen and you want to send it to the mic jack, you could do the same thing as we did before on Linux. And it's take the incoming after you've filtered it with like a Hypermite filter, CW bandpass, active. So you have a nice side tone right from the get-go. It comes into the mic jack with just the right volume. So you would take system to mumble and hit connect, which we could do like that. And system and system. So you want to hear the mic jack. You could do it that way. In the, using Jack Router, and if Mac allows you to monitor directly monitor the mic jack, you can, may be able to to do that as well and see which one sounds better. So I'm going to disconnect that. That's pretty much it. Once you've downloaded Jack Pilot and Mumble and FL Digi, and if you've uh, got your side tone connected to the mic jack, you're good to go. This is a very simple setup compared to most, and it's because of core audio, I think, and that both programs, FL Digi and Mumble, when they have versions for Mac, have included core audio support so that you can use a program like Jack Router for Mac. And I think that's all the screens here. I, have, I just left everything up. I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.